Good morning. And we are here Monday morning. It is Monday morning. And we realize that school is up for many people. Today, uh, it is Martin Luther King Day. And let's not forget what he made great strides to do in remembrance of all that he did. Let's come together on this day to remember the efforts that were greatly realized. So as we come together, today is Monday, January the 15th, and you are here and I'm here. I hope all of you can hear me, because today we're going to talk about our mental health and how we are doing in affirmations. We haven't done one for 2024 yet and we're so grateful for this. Our direct connect for Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast is 661-503-8993. And we are so glad that you guys are able to join us. Please check out our Facebook pages, our streaming on all of your favorite podcasts, wherever you're getting them. Our Instagram pages that are now featuring our morning discussion, morning sessions. And by the way, Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast. All you have to do is hashtag it. Use a hashtag plus my talk facing the lion podcast or facing the lion podcast. And it'll show up right in your Google space. How was everyone's weekend? I gotta tell you guys, my weekend was really great. And our radio show that is called After Dark, Vibe Talk After Dark, that is. Come check it out. It's on Saturday night, of course, After Dark. For some of you, it may already be ahead as After Dark, but if you come back, I guarantee you, or you follow us, I guarantee you, you won't miss a beat. There, it is smooth and chill. It is also your conversations, whatever you want to talk about. And we got a message, a very sweet message from a Daniel regarding tuning in to us in our talk radio. Saturday radio is different because we're playing music and dedication, provided that Facebook is allowing that. Are you ready? Because we've had a weekend. Some of us are getting today off. Uh, depending on where you're working, uh, because it is 
Martin Luther King Day. And some of you have the kids at home while you're not working. <laughs> May your day be spent as a beautiful memory. Don't forget to check out our new thing that we're doing for Instagram. We're going to be posting our discussions right on Instagram. Go check out Instagram. And if you haven't already, please go and support our YouTube channel by the same name, Vibe Talk Facing the Lion Podcast. We're here. And I hope that everyone is well. Are you? If you're not, Today is going to give you something to think about. Honestly, guys, today is going to give you really something to think about. So as we welcome you to our show, want to thank you for being here. And you are always welcome to be here. Good morning. And how are you? Good morning. I'm doing well. Good. I'm glad to hear it. So you had a storm. How was it? Scary enough or not scary enough? It was scary enough. <laughs> <laughs> So, everybody say? Yeah, we are fine. How did the town do? No. A lot of flooding and a lot of small limbs on the ground, but we are, our town is safe. Glad to hear it. We always ask about things, guys, because just because we have the co-host here, doesn't mean that everything always goes well. And it really is about not just getting the show done, but actually caring about the people we work with. And Trish is our co-host. She really is our co-host. Um, did you get to hear the beautiful message that was left for us, Trish. Not yet. Okay. Well, I just want to tell you that it was really beautiful, and it's from a Daniel who tuned in to our radio show. And what a beautiful message. Thank you, Daniel. We never give up around here. Even when something looks like it's going to fail, we keep trying. And every day, guys, that is our motto here. We're going to just keep trying. Because I ne never believe in quitting. Today is Affirmation Day around here. And please, by all means, share with your friends and family members. I want you to think about what today means for you as we've come so far. Martin Luther King has been laid to rest, but we never want to forget every opportunity that has now been given to you and I. Today is a day off. And we're so grateful for them making Martin Luther King a day off. Because I remember going to school and they now have made it a day 
to remember. Let's not forget that. Affirmations. Why do we do affirmations here? What are they? Let's think about that as you and I are going to be going over affirmations. What are affirmations? Because, you know, a lot of people do it in their classes, in their morning um, agendas. But now, affirmations are affirming something, giving you emotional support and encouragement. Who does not need encouragement? Trish, do you need encouragement? Yes, yes, I do. Yeah, we all need that encouragement. So when we say affirmation, we are assuring ourselves or agreeing with. Come a little closer as I say that. We are assuring ourselves or agreeing with. Not just saying a bunch of words, ladies and gentlemen, but really thinking about the words. I've been really concentrating on that. Not just saying something, but actually listening to what it means, you know, um, when we even sing a song or make lyrics to a song, are we really listening to what we're saying? So if you're doing any affirmations, I want you to focus on what it is that is being said. Very important that we do that. And I hope that I am clearing up a lot of, of misconceptions, if there are any out there, on affirmations. So we want to make sure that as we affirm and agree with, that we're challenged to be able to overcome any negative Come a little closer. I said, our affirmations challenge us to overcome any negative fault. Sometimes you have to tell yourself something in order to have it in your mind. Because, you see, the opposite of us is to have had something said to us or told to us that have brought us to negative thinking. Many people are told that they're not good. They're not good enough. They never will amount to anything. If somebody has told them that not one time, but more than needed to be said. And now it's sounded down into their housing. That is your mental and emotional housing, including your brain and your heart. It is woven there as long as you can remember. Woven, when something is woven, it is put together. And when I say woven, I think of a sweater or a piece of material. Think of that. There is nothing that can pull that sweater apart but time and age. So imagine your house body and those negative words woven in 
to your house, body, mind, and heart. Your spirit, which is you, believes it because it has been woven into you. And so, so I didn't want to do an affirmation until you fully understand why we do it. See, it's not a matter of having nothing else to do, but really believing it. And for the last three years as we've done it, I want you to understand why. I want you to think about how your week may go or not. You will be faced with challenges this week. Challenges that challenge your mind, your heart. Even how your energy is going to receive the challenges. So I thought this is a good way to think about our Motivation Monday. With that being said, we're going to come right back and get into it, shall we? We shall. We will be right back. I promise. Stay with us. We're back. And I want to say thank you for joining us. And we are here with you. Thank you so much for being here. We are a live audience. Thank you. You guys are very, very special to us when you take the time to get here. I want you to be able to breathe. That shouldn't be so hard since you've already had to do that. And you do it every day. But I want you to do focused breathing. And I want you to breathe in and out, inhaling and exhaling. Try it out. Inhale, exhale. And I am fixing this up. I promise you. There we go. There we go. And as you inhale and exhale, the reason for your focused breathing is so that you are. Good morning and welcome. Where are you listening in from for those who are joining our podcast on other forms? Where are you all listening in from? The first one, I am worthy of love. How many of you are having a hard time with that one? 
as you say it. Anybody? I am. I want you to be able to breathe in and out. In and out. And I want you, those of you who are having a hard time with that, to repeat, I am worthy of love and happiness. Now re repeat. Are you guys still with me? Repeat. Yes, I am. I, I am worthy of love. Let am, me hear. You. Oh, okay. I am worthy of love. And when you say that, focus on your breathing. Let's show them how it's done. Now, the next part of that, because I know how it feels to not be worthy of love. Because I was there. Now, as you are focused on your breathing, think about those words. Being worthy of love and what that looks like for you. Being worthy of love. What does it feel like? When someone says, I love you. What does it feel like when a person creates for you a safe space for you to feel love? And I want you to stay right there for a moment. And I want to tell you something. You are worthy of love. For a long time, ladies and gentlemen, it was me who would sabotage. Every time I heard that word. Oh, yeah, I would say. Or, or you can't possibly love me. How could anyone love me? Until I started to experience it. Until I started to challenge that. I now can accept it. Even if it's just a little bit. Now, here's the other part for all of you that don't feel worthy of love. You're going to couple that with happiness. How many of you like to see others happy? Anybody? I do. You like to see the others happy? Why is that? Because it brings me joy to see other people happy and to see how they smile and that it's doing their life good with happiness. So you're able to experience joy, right? Yes. You stop yourself from receiving joy. You just can't be happy. You're not going to be happy. Can't be happy because you're just not going to receive joy. Is that how you think? No. Now you have said something, and I want you to notice something. You are capable of being happy because you get joy from other people's happiness. It makes you feel joyful, right? Yes, it does. So other people feel 
the same way. So, so I want you to know the power of your being happy, encompassed with love. You are capable and you are worthy of love and happiness. Inhale and exhale that. That is a representation when you are inhaling and exhaling on focused breathing that you have taken it in and you have received it for that moment. Even if you don't believe it tomorrow, you are in your present state of mind and you are receiving what is being said. So I want you, when we're going through this exercise, at the end of every one, we'll get through them. Complete your sentence with, I receive, I accept and receive. Because it's just not enough to breathe it in and say it, but it's a point of, I'm at that safe space where I receive love and I accept love encompassed with happiness. I'm going to tell you guys where I really was. I could not believe that I was worthy of love. I did not believe that. And then to be happy, I could be happy too. Wow, it was just so mind-boggling to me. So when you say you don't believe it, I understand you and how you feel. Next one. I choose to focus on the present moment and let go of the past. And breathe that out. Let's take the last part first. Letting go of the past. How many of you need to let go of something that has happened in your past, but you just keep chewing on it and chewing on it and chewing on it? You ever watched a dog chew on a bone? Gnawing and gnawing at it and gnawing at it and gnawing at it. See, the purpose of the dog gnawing on that bone is to sharpen its teeth. You get added bonuses, too. It tastes good to the dog. Now, I'm not a dog and neither are you, but you get the sense of it. The next time you give a dog a bone, you've heard of that saying. But now, those same teeth can do harm in the face of danger. Metaphorically speaking, every time you don't let go of the past, you are resharpening or you are we re weaponizing how you felt. You go back and that pain or that anger that you feel keeps gnawing at you until it is sharpened point of danger. How do I mean that? Both in a mental and emotional as well as physical way. It makes you sick. And so you're endangering yourself because you are now having a sickened spirit because you can't let go of the past. Is it easy? How many of you would say, oh, that was so easy? No. But when you let go of the pain of the past, and it's going to take some time, because you have been equipped 
with this past and you just can't get it out of your mind it is knowing that you day after day night after night and year after year but we say to you put that bone down put, put that past down because see you're far superior than any four-legged friend you're much more intelligent than even your furry friend and so we say to you as you are breathing in and out let go of the past well, if you don't have the past to non-chew on and think about, what do you have? You have a choice to focus on the present moment that you are in right now. Maybe you weren't thinking about something that happened to you in the past. As we begun a vibe talk facing the lion podcast. And maybe it has brought you back to the past. But are you able to leave that past right where it is? Let's see. We know that a mind does a funny thing. It plays tricks on us. It's able to recall, remember, think about, and we don't want you to lose the power that your brain has. What we want you to do is get control of your own mind to be able to let go of the past and focus on what is to be had, because you don't know that either. You can choose it or not. As we breathe in and out, how many of you feel strong? Anyone? What was that? I said I do. You feel strong. Why do you feel strong? I feel strong because I'm sure of myself. Love That's it. why I feel strong. You feel strong because you're sure of yourself. I'm strong because I'm not willing to give up that easily. How many of you do feel strong today? Capable. Yeah the ability to do something capable how many of you are feeling capable today after all it's Monday and you're recovering from the weekend some of us are you capable to get up out of that bed and show up that's for appointments Maybe you're going to have a fun day today. Kids are home. Maybe you guys are going to do something really fun. You're capable. Now let's talk about resilience. Because see, there's a difference of saying something and then there's a difference of saying something and meaning it. How many of you have been resilient like that brave lion? How many of you have been, you can look back and you can think about it, this present moment, the time when you were resilient. I'm resilient. Anybody else? I am. Let's hear that again. I said I am resilient. Yeah. That's much better. So with that being said, as we broke that down, we want to build you up to say the 
words as you stay focused in your breathing. Remember, we talked about affirmations and repeating after me. I am strong, capable, and resilient. Never failing do I always when I see little boys and girls. I always say to them, and they love this conversation, especially when I see them helping their mommies or their daddies, I always say, use your Superman, you use your superhero strength. Why do I do that? Because every child has a superhero. Strong, capable, resilient, going back to your childhood, you probably are thinking about your favorite superhero right now. I was in a store and a woman was looking at me and she said to me, I was just looking at how strong you are. You lifted that heavy box. Wow. And my reply to her as I received and accepted what she said, they don't call me Wonder Woman for nothing. Because you see, if you've been here before, then you know my story about Wonder Woman. That was always my favorite. Because I wanted to be her. When she did the twirl and changed into her Wonder Woman outfit with a gold bracelet. Because you see, that represented strong, capable, and resilient. See, you don't have to have a superhero outfit to be those three things. And in your house, you have people that are strong, capable, and resilient. See, you don't need a cape to be those type of people. Because you can be strong, capable, and resilient. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you get triggered in this, you are in a safe space. You can always call Direct Connect right during the show or after. That's what we're here for. And I am a trained and certified professional life and wellness coach. The resilience of everything that you've ever faced, you have gotten back up, you have have stood up, you have got up, and you have shown up. That's superhero power. And if you didn't hear those words when you were little, you're hearing them now. And I want you to be able to give those things to your inner child. To the one that you say, this is what happened to me when I was young. Because I'm finding that my clients that I work with, some of them were never fed. Use your superhero strength. They had to learn and discover those strengths through whatever challenges they faced. And we know that there are some of you who have faced incredible challenges. I'll leave that right there. We're going to be right back.
join us on Saturday evenings after dark with music, song dedications, and your conversations at Live Talk After Dark, Saturdays. We're back. I had to take a breather. The next one is we're staying focused. It is... I deserve to take care of myself and prioritize my well-being. How many of you feel like you're deserving of that? To make sure that you're okay? How many of you really believe that? Because... I hear a lot of people and I see a lot of people who don't take care of themselves and always put themselves below everyone else. Now, I know there's a lot of moms out there. I'm a mom myself of two adult kids or young adults. But now, you with the little ones, how many times do you feel I'm going to move this for just a moment. I'm still here. How many times do you feel that you need to take a break? Do you guys ever feel like you need to take a break? Anybody? I do. And when is that? And do you ever listen to yourself? Usually when I'm doing a lot, when um, I feel like no one else is picking up from where things are left off in the house because I still live with my parents, so I do chores, and I try to do all of them by myself because I tell myself, I'm going to just go ahead and do it while everybody else is doing what they're doing, but I, I get tired. Like, I get very tired, and plus I also have college. And it's hard for me to say, let me stop, let me have my, my break so I can have a rest before I start my schoolwork. Okay. And so do you do that because it has to be done or you just want to do that to get it just done? I want to do that. I'm going to be real. <laughs> I want to do that. Yeah. I don't have to do that. Yeah. You see how I ask you that? We have to start asking ourselves. Ladies, ask our. Which is fair. See, what Trish did was acknowledge that. That's important, ladies and gentlemen, to do. Let's start acknowledging ourselves. We may have to get something done, but aren't we important enough to have a space of break time? You know, in the working world, you get a break. In the working world, it is against the law if you're employer does not allow you break time. Did you hear me? In the working world. Yeah, it's against the law. In fact, my son made me very aware of something when he was working for a store. Because I was, I was like, why do you have to take a break? You should be be able to work on your break time and not take the break. He says, no, Mom, you really have to take a break. And this particular place will dock you if you don't. You get written up if you don't. I had never heard of such a thing. Why? 
That's why you have clause in your applications. When you get hired, the signing paperwork. And that's why you must acknowledge that you can take a break. You see, even Cinderella took a break and went to the vault. You guys remember that? Remember how hard she worked? Took a break. And as she took that break, she had a clause. How many of you remember what that clause was? Anybody? She had to do something. Do you all remember that? I think yeah. so. What was it? She was making a dress. That was after she went to the ball. It was a clause in her going to the ball. Because remember, Cinderella worked and worked and worked. I'll tell you what it was. She had to be home by midnight. You all remember that? Yes, I remember. Yeah. See, time was of the essence. And when you make time for yourself, it is of the essence because you're going to refresh and restore your mind, your body, and your spirit that is you in your own house body. So prioritizing your well-being has benefits. We'll leave that right there. How many of you feel like you deserve that? You deserve that. Anybody? I got to tell you something else. For as long as my kids were in school, as long as they were making good grades, I made a day for them. They didn't know what day it would be. And that day was to take them out of school for a day. And they could do anything they wanted to do, or I would have a planned activity. Because, see, what I knew is that their minds and their bodies needed rest. See, they got up very, very early, early, stayed in school for all of eight hours, were in school each and every day unless sickness or some unforeseen occurrence, they went to school. So in their clause, as parents, I let them take a day off. My kids still talk about that to this day. And that way, the next day when they went to school, they were ready to embrace life again because they've been restored. So if any of you are living Cinderella stories or even not Prince Charming yet, I want you to think about what it is that I'm saying. Prioritize your well-being. Because we all need breaks. You've heard of coffee breaks, right? How many of you take a coffee break? Starbucks. See, when you hear the word Starbucks, that's your coffee break. Take that. I hope that I'm getting somewhere with this reminder heal and to myself and out next one how many of you right now 
are in a positive state of mind. No matter where, I am. where you Okay. And what makes it a positive state of mind for you? Love that. Because I'm I'm optimistic. I expect things to not be perfect, but to be in a good state regardless of how negative things are. Yeah. Because you expect expectation from yourself. And for those of you that have not heard our latest podcast, we are talking about expecting from you. Well, or what do you expect from you? Is there anything that you expect from you? See, when you live in your in your house body, expect something from yourself because isn't the world expecting, you know, you know, when a pregnant woman says, I'm expecting, what she's re really saying is that she's awaiting something. She is looking for something. What would that be? The baby to come. So when you're expecting, you're looking for something. You're waiting on something. There's no greater person to wait on than yourself. Because isn't it interesting that life has all kind of expectations. But the one thing that we don't fulfill is the one to ourselves. Expectations. Expecting. So when you expect a positive state of mind that's what you're waiting for as well as embracing the thought that why not initiate it with yourself depending on how important you think it is or isn't because it's easy to stay in the negative right but now in the negative when I say negative Negative to you. What does that mean? Because what do you think? And to the audience members too, they can participate in the negative. That means in a bad place, in a bad state. Okay. Zero. You know that line when you look at, at your bank? And your statement is zero, or it has the line, and it has after it. Let me throw out a figure. $100. Negative $100 means what? You don't have it. That's not in your bank. You can't expect it because it's not there. Negative. So in our world that we live in, we have negativity. We are swamped with negative thinking. We are swamped with not only our own negative thinking, but we surround ourselves and get this, we have a nerve Surround ourselves with people that are negative 100. And we like this. We create a space for this type of situation or these type of people to be in our lives. And the only reason we don't is because we expect positivity from ourselves because why? We embrace it. Stop being in the negative. Next one, when we think about our thoughts and our emotions, where are we? Oh, oh boy, you, you mess with my emotions. You make me mad. And I was just thinking about this. In fact, I was having a conversation the other day about my emotions. 
and I'm picking one. My emotions of anger. I stay angry for a long time. How has that been good for me? I'll tell you. High blood pressure, headache, backache, stomach ache. And emotional pain. So I've acknowledged that now that I've acknowledged and I'm aware of it, what I choose to do about it matters. I've got to work on that. Because you know what? I stay very mad for a long time. But here's another thought. Just as mad as I could be at something, I love, love that hard and that that's been a struggle with me to go between being angry with somebody and loving them so hard that includes myself i have been so angry with myself and never reaching the depths of the emotions of loving myself hard being gentle with myself being patient with myself so I have to ask myself, at this present time, right here where we are, am I in control of my emotions? Oh, oh boy. Our mind is one of the strongest muscles or organs, excuse me, that we have. Wow. The brain... The way we think is all so powerful in the positive and in the negative. Because you see, the negative people that have thought the wrong thoughts have created for themselves wrong actions. They follow their wrong thoughts up by wrong actions. And we've all seen the disastrous course of those. So what are we going to do? Are you in control of your thoughts and your emotions? I am enough just as I am. How many of you honestly honestly think that you're enough or you always have to do more than enough. Anybody? I feel like I have to do more to be enough sometimes. I love that. You're so honest. And that's what I expect. From myself honesty and honesty with every person that I have ever worked with and I work with a lot of people honesty thank you for that Trisha Trish so we have to be honest because sometimes we just don't feel quite good enough we've got to figure out where that's coming from no one can tell us better than we ourselves because, see, we are all writers of our own stories. We are all like chapters in a book. And somewhere that chapter of not good enough has made its way in your life. And I say made its way because sometimes we don't create that. Others will create that for us and we have to get down to the wire of why do I feel like I'm not good enough some of us may even feel like we are better than good enough see because we tell ourselves we're better than we're better than you we're better than him even that we must find out what is the root cause of that? 
But let's move to the I am enough. Have you ever saw an overachiever? An overachiever. Met one yesterday. And it sounded like this. I just asked one question where something was. And he started to write a history book for me about the something that I was looking for. See, that that's a person that didn't feel they were giving me enough. And as I, I thanked him and moved away to look for that something that I was looking for, minus the history lesson that I got about it, I began to get in my mode of vibe talk because I said something caused that. I was looking for, for another something and the same man was there and he did the exact same thing. Here's my challenge. Why did I even go back to that man knowing that he felt that way? There was no one else around for number one because I might not have chosen him again because I already knew that he, he was saying he didn't do his job good enough, so he had to give me the extra. We know all the extra people in our lives. Trish, do you have an extra person in your life who's so extra? Yes, I do. I think it's safe to say that we all have that extra person. You might even be that extra person who does over and above so extra because you, you see they feel they aren't good enough. If they've done even their best, they will look at that and say, that was not my best. Sometimes it's it's good to be critical, but sometimes we can do damage in being critical. That's with ourselves or other people. Just be enough. We all can work on ourselves. That was powerful. I'm going to be right back. Thank you so much for joining us. We're back this motivational Monday. As we are being focused with our affirmations today, I need you to inhale and exhale. Power to create the life that you desire. As you look at your life right now, let me ask you, are you in control of your own life? Can you be an individual can you be the one that, that people say, I like the way they think? Or do you, you have to have a rat pack and if one doesn't agree, you all, all don't agree. You have that power to create any type of life that you desire. Let me ask you another thing. Are you living? Because you can't get there until you start living. I want you to write that word, living. From the time that we are very young, our parents set up for us, if you've been 
been so fortunate enough to have your room. Maybe you shared a room, but your parents basically give you a space for you to create. And you say, this is the life because I got my own room or I share my room, but I have my own bed. And in life, there is a saying. Whatever bed you've made, you must lie in that bed. Oh boy, I would be rich right now if every time that word was said, and I bet it on it. So as you create the beds that you lie in, in a metaphorical way how are you doing because whatever life you've created for yourself knowingly welcome to it see because that goes without saying in your power or in your empowerment you can change something to create Create a more desirable life. You're not stuck in its path. Now, as you experience it, you've got to do two things. Become aware of it. Is it something that you enjoy or not enjoy? We're going back to the bathroom because I want to talk about that. You remember when your parents painted your room? If you've ever experienced that. And even if they didn't paint, you remember how some of you may have been thematic. You created your space. I know for me, mine was posters on the walls. I think every kid has done that. For others, you know, when my son was literally loved SpongeBob. His room was everything SpongeBob. Loved, loved his space. And then I decided to go with a Nickelodeon theme of that slime green. That was a cool room because my older son liked that. So we created a space for him. But I say to you, older ones, what space have you created for yourself, your life? And is it one that you really desire? That's time for reflection. As we're breathing in and out, let's think about being grateful. In Vibe Talk. We always ask, and this is a good time to ask because I didn't ask it earlier. What are you grateful for in your life? Some of you are very evasive. It's like you don't understand the question. And you know why, what I say about that, analyzing that not having known you for the first time that you come in, I gather that no one's either asked you that or you're saving it up for that one national holiday of giving thanks. Every day is a day to be grateful. And we need to perhaps... Think about being grateful. Instead of thinking about all that isn't in your life, think about all that has been in your life. You are deserving of 
being successful today, tomorrow, and forevermore. And you, you are deserving of fulfilling your life with purpose, plans, happiness, joyfulness. And there will be some disappointments along the way. Expect that, my friends. We are going to have a part two. If I did all of them, then we could not listen to Trish and Trish's treasures. We're going to be right back after these messages. Join me for song dedications and chill smooth conversation. Saturdays, right on Instagram and Facebook. You can even dedicate a song before our Saturday after dark white top. We're back. Good morning, Maddie. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. And where are you listening in from? By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you are just joining us, our podcast is always recorded. It's always on our YouTube page by the same name. Vibe Talk, Facing the Lion podcast, and recorded for Facebook. You can see it, the entire program. It is Motivational Monday, and my co-host, I'm going to turn it over to her for Trisha's Treasures. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please go on over if you can. If you've got a Facebook page, follow us there. We are now at 301 people. And Trish and I are there right now. Trish, take us away. Affirmations. Uh, this made me think about an assignment that you gave me on making a song about who I am. I remember. And, yeah. <laughs> I was like, this reminded me of that. It's so clear. And I remember the lyrics. It goes... So I heard it before, yeah, yeah. So I heard it before, yeah, yeah. I said I heard it before, yeah, yeah. Thank God I didn't listen to you. That I heard it before, yeah, yeah. I said I heard it before, yeah, yeah. I said I heard it before, yeah, yeah. Thank God I didn't listen to you. I'm bold and I'm beautiful, I can't deny it. My lyrics are so lyrical, I can't deny it. Don't you try it. If you think I'm hideous, I can just be it. When I look in the mirror, I like what I see. I like what I see and you can't tell me nothing. I like what I see and you can't tell me nothing. No, no. You can try to bring me down, but I know who I am. Know who I am. I am. I am Trish. I'm so legit. My music is a fire, it's so lit. I am Trish. I am Trish. 
And making that song, it was so hard. Damn. It was so it was so hard because I was so used to the negatives that people said about me when I was being bullied when I was a kid. And I had to reprogram my mind into my own truth and who I feel who I am. So the affirmation that you say to yourself is very important. It's programming you into thinking how you view your reflection. So be careful of what you say to yourself because we are our worst critics. We have to motivate ourselves when nobody else motivates us. We have to support ourselves when nobody else supports us. Be your biggest support and be your most honest, truthful, and positive affirmation. True life and power. That is our segment on Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast of Trisha's Treasures. Love, love, love that. We do work around here, and Trish was referring to uh, being one of my clients, and she did the work, and I had her sing to me her name. And wow, you've come so far. You're amazing. So in a wrap, what can we learn about affirmations? Saying them, saying them is one thing, but believing them is also another thing. Let's start believing the good about ourselves. We're hoping that this Monday motivation has been just that for you. You are able to get in connection with us during, before, and after our podcast. You can talk to us even in the chats. And you can listen to our program in its entirety on uh, um. YouTube, the information is on Facebook, YouTube channel, and wherever you're listening to your podcast. Maddie, thank you for following us on our platform. We hope that you would take a look at our Facebook page and Saturday night, you can also join me as we dedicate songs, as I will play what you want to hear. And we keep it smooth and chill. We have inspiring conversations, and I'm so proud of our, how many shows has that been now? Eight for Saturday night. I'm so grateful to all of you. Everything is always a slow process, but we know we just keep going. Our last question for today is What have you learned and discovered about yourself during this podcast for motivational? Monday, Monday Affirmations is what it's called. What did you learn about yourself? And if you've just come in, go back as we post it onto our Facebook page. You can hear it in its entirety. I'll start with me. I was truly triggered. I'm going to be honest. If you're not being triggered as a life coach, 
any type of other counseling then and I want you to think about the way your approach is because today I got triggered and that's a good thing because it helps me to know that nothing lies dormant and I'm not the only one who may get triggered I was triggered And I know that I have been strong while wearing no cape and no gold bracelets, nor have I spun around to change into and out of superhero strength. I'm so thankful for that. That's empowerment, and that's what I felt today. Trish is my co-host. What did you learn and discover about yourself and how did it make you feel? And Maddie, you can answer that and anybody else who's going to be listening to this. I have learned that, first of all, I've learned that I am still working on focusing on the present versus what I went through in the past. I can tell by my paranoia when I talk to other people, I automatically think they think negative thoughts about me. So I have, I'm working on that when I communicate with other people. And that's okay, I, I still have things to work on. And I got triggered by the first one. I was like, oh, we're, we're coming in strong today, guys. <laughs> The first one I got triggered about love, and that is something I know I deserve. I know I deserve that. I know I deserve happiness, but I have to go for it because I'm so afraid that it can not turn out the way that I want it. But I have to take a risk for my well-being and for my happiness. And my experience here today, it was also triggering but helpful and hopeful at the same time. Yeah. So now, now that you all understand, thank you for that. Now that you all understand why we do affirmations, you know, it's important as a uh, life coach, any kind of counseling, we don't do medical counseling, okay? Because we're not doctors here. When we do something, it's important to be effective. It's important not to give all the answers, but let a person think for themselves. And just so that you guys are aware, are aware, that's what I was talking about earlier, thinking for yourselves. I believe that that is so important to think for yourself. Not always have somebody tell you, but rather using your brain power to gain control of how you think and feel. If you always have me giving you the answers, how will you solve? And parents, even as our children grow up to become who they have become, it's important for us not to give them all answers. We will be their parents from here into eternity. We got that. But sometimes they need to think for themselves. And that's why the schools create critical thinking in math, English, social studies, critical thinking. What do you think you hear that? How do you solve in math? How does this history experience help us? It's all critical thinking, and I know because I spent 16 years as an educator for the very young. 
critical thinking. But now when we critically think about ourselves, Trish, you said something, and I think it deserves repeating, about speaking well things into ourselves. Because there's so much negativity. And if you are a parent and you can go back and you can say, I'm sorry for the way I did that, then that is enough. Because we can't change what has been done in the past. We can only change how we feel. When, when, and I love this right here. I love this. An older person taught me this with since past. When you know better, you do better. Yes. Yes, it is. Maddie, facing the lion on here on uh, our YouTube, it's Facing the Lion podcast. And you can get to our page just by going, you can hashtag it. And Trish, you have all your information on this side. Thank you so much for that. Uh, on Facebook, Facing the Lion Podcast. By the way, um, Facing the Lion is our new platform on Spoons. Had to change that. Anyways, think about that, guys. I hope this motivates you for the rest of the week. We will be back. We will be back because we're going to finish the other 10. We're going to finish. There are 20 of them. Thank you so much for joining us. Maddie, thank you. Maddie, by the way, where are you listening to us from? What state, please? And thank you. No addresses. State. What state are you listening in from? And we're doing Doing something new and I find it very nice that I will put in all states all, all 50 something states are in our messages and we're so grateful for that we are I am in California West Coast Trish you are I'm in South Carolina, South Carolina. Carolina that just had stormy weather, and I'm glad you guys are okay. And Maddie, you are from just state only, please. When you come in, do us a favor. Go and check out how strong our podcast has become. What do you think, Trish? I think it has become, like, very strong. Stronger each year. <laughs> yeah, year two, year three. We're in right now. So it's not anything new. Our podcast goes up thanks to Trish. Thank you, Trish. And our um, After Dark, it's the same message but different because it's a radio show and I'm taking your dedications and playing the songs you want to hear we're keeping a smooth chill and who you want to dedicate it to you can do shout outs inspiration it is your own podcast I'm loving it and we got a beautiful beautiful message from Daniel you can hear Daniel's message um, from last Saturday night that just passed. Last Saturday night. And there we have it. Thank you for joining us here at Vibe Talk. And thank you, Trish. Have a good day.
Thank you. 